O Diyos, aming Ama, ang lahat ng nilalang ay marapat na sumamba sa iyo. Higit sa iyong mga biyaya, sinasamba ka namin dahil ikaw ay ikaw. Lumalapit kami sa iyo, dakilang tagapaglikha, nagsusumamo at humihingi ng kapatawaran. Kami ay nagkulang at nagkasala. Patawarin mo kami sa katigasan ng aming mga puso. Turuan mo kami at dalhin sa inyong kalooban. Tingnan mo kami ng may awa at kahabagan. Hilumin mo po ang aming bayan, ang aming mga mahal sa buhay, kaibigan, kapitbahay, karatig bayan. Ganon din ang aming mga kaaway sa pandemyang kinahaharap namin sa COVID-19. Isama niyo na rin ang mga may sakit sa iba't ibang karamdaman. Panginoon, balutin mo kami ng inyong kalwalhatian. Itago mo kami sa lilim ng inyong mga pakpak laban sa anumang kapahamakan o wala sa oras na kamatayan. Kristo, ang tinapay ng buhay, alalahanin niyo po ang mga namumuno sa aming bansa ang mga ilaw at haligi ng bawat tahanan at mga kawani na nagtatanggol sa aming siguridad at mga frontliners. Batid mo, Panginoon, ang mga dinaraanan at bawat ganap sa aming buhay. Espiritong banal, aming tanggulan at gabay, imulat ang aming mga mata at ipakita si Jesus ang Panginoon at tagapagligtas ang nag-iisang katotohanan at tanging daan tungo sa Ama. Wala nang iba. Purihin ka, o aming Diyos. Ang presensya mo ay tunay na biyaya ng aming buhay. Ito ang aming samot panalangin. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng kasalanan ng mundo. Amen.
Walang kasing saya ang Paskong Pinoy. Dumaan man ang problema at pandemya, kayang-kayang lampasan. Basta't nagdadamayan at nagmamahalan. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko dito sa V81 Radio, South Manila. Ito ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino. Basta all hits, all Pinoy, panalo. Merong kwentong iyakan at tawanan. Kahit nasaan ka man ito'y The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the program anchors and producers and do not necessarily reflect the policies and position of this station. Buckle up and get ready, set, and go! Join sports girl anchor Nicole Ganglani as she dives deep into the lives of athletes, fitness personalities, and enthusiasts from the sports industry. Broadcasting live from V81 Radio South Manila, this is Sports Watch, only here on V81 Radio South Manila. Hello mga ka-sports tropa, this is your sports girl anchor Nicole Ganglani welcoming you to our show today where we talk all things sports and fitness. Buckle up, get ready, set, and go! We're here to put the spotlight on different athletes from different sports to hopefully inspire you to be better not just today but every day. Our second guest of the sh- for the show is the future face of women's basketball or at least I'm confident she will be. She's a 15-year-old girl from Miriam College already making strides in the basketball community. Let's all hear it for Camille Nolasco. Hi, Camille. Thanks for joining us. I'm really glad you're here. (laughs) How's your Saturday going? Huh? I'm actually a bit sleepy pa po ngayon. <laughs> yeah, especially with the rainy weather the past couple mm-hmm. of weeks. Wala naman school today. Wala but, naman. So yeah, thank you for joining us today again. We'll talk more about your basketball career. I'm really happy to have you over, especially since, you know, you've been making waves in the basketball community so far. So I'd like to ask you, Camille, how did you get into basketball or sports in general? What was like your, how did you dive in? in the so I was around five to six years old when I started playing basketball. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd see my brothers and dad play outside the house because I my half court. Po kami dun. And I remember po, makikisali na lang po sa kanila. I'd shoot the basketball. Yeah. Then po, I just fell in love with the sport. Po. You know, Camille, I can actually relate to your story because uh, not long ago, when I was a kid, I'd always play basketball. Very mga kasama ko mga boys, di ba? Oh. But unfortunately, I never got to pursue that because, um, syempre, like I'm 23 now, so mm-hmm. during my time, I'd go to a co-ed school. They wouldn't offer, sadly, they wouldn't offer basketball for women, and that would break my heart. And then... Uh, when I went to, on to high school, nung I got the opportunity na mababa naman grades ko. <laughs> so I guess it was never meant for me, but somehow, some way, I still found a way to make basketball part of my career. I'd like to ask you lang, um, you were a five-year-old kid getting into basketball, right? What helped you continue that as, like, now you're 15 years old, what helped you continue sticking with the sport throughout all those years? So your main reason what uh, what 
helps me to stick ko sa basketball siguro ko yung support ko na nakukuha ko from my family kasi mm-hmm. I won't be here for right now kung hindi naman ko nalakas ko na supportan mm-hmm. so when you were playing when you were five years old where was that was that outside your house or like within your family um in your household or backyard here po sa house kasi may half court po kami this every ah, time for you Yes, but at this every time po my dad has a basketball game, lagi po ako yung kasama niya po. Mm. So, how many brothers do you have? I have two older brothers po. They're also I'm... in basketball. Yes, very not like me po. Ah, wow, I love it. So, you're the quote unquote bunso. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So, from the three of them, ikaw yung nag-pursue ng parang varsity basketball. Oh, when I got <laughs> Maybe that's what's meant for you. So how did you like um learn the game? Like did your dad teach you or like did he at a young age did he enroll you in camps palang? Mostly was well, your dad learned the coach ko. Like from the start to your dad was your coach. Siya po yung nag nag train po sa akin lagi. Up to now naman po. Okay. Uh, you had mentioned uh, prior to the interview, I saw you have photos with um, Jimmy Butler and other NBA superstars. Uh, can we show that, please? Sure. There. Uh, let's show it for our uh, Wait, it'll come in a bit. So, who are the who are some of the professional players you had met sa... Um, who who you've met now personally? I was actually thinking about it, but as I realized, po na I actually met a lot of NBA players already. Po. Oh, can you went to Orlando? Po. I'm so Orlando. Po, I met Dwayne Wade. Oh my gosh, did you go there? Yes, but um, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. When was that? That's my dream. Yeah, huh? Last, just last year po. Last year. Yeah, uh, who did you meet so Orlando? Um, a lot of NBA players actually were there for, like, so like Aaron Gordon, Danny Green. Yeah, Danny Green. Yeah, my three-point shooter. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. Can we show the photo lang? Yeah. There. For viewers, there we go. That's Camille with Jimmy Butler. She posted that during the final. And I was like, wow, Camille. Who's that on the side? If I'm not mistaken, that's... Marilyn Snowell. Okay, cool. Nasa camp kayo niyan? Yes, well, my picture with Marilyn Snowell. That was the first time I joined Junior NBA. Ten years old pa lang po kanyan. Hindi pa po ganun ka ano yung skills ko sa basketball. Like, sobrang baby pa po. Oh, okay. that's, that's when you were 10. Here in Manila, yan? Uh, yes, it was at PCC. Ah, okay. This I picture, uh, Sorry, go go ahead. My picture with Jimmy Butler, po. That's yeah. way back in 2017. That's when we went to China. So, mm. my friends po sila sa China. Just during the opening night, po, I was chosen po to walk with the NBA players. Kasi yun po, sobrang gulat po kasi hindi ko po expect na mapipili po ako kasi ako nila maglakas po. I'm so curious, how's Jimmy Butler like? Because to me, he was really one of the most surprising superstars in the bubble. Because I didn't expect him to, I'm a Laker fan, I love the Lakers. Okay. So every single game, I watch their bubble game. And I was super surprised with Jimmy Butler during the finals because I didn't expect him to super su- explode. Because in the past few games, he versus the Celtics, major passive, pa siya, di ba? Like he had these moments. But I think the finals really was his come out party. How was your interaction like with him? How's he like? Um, mabait na po siya. Tapos nanginginig po sa akin kasi nagiyap po ako magpo picture. Tapos yun po nagpost na lang po siya ng ganon. Ah, okay. So it was like a sandali lang moment, you know. Mm, yeah. So who other players have you met also? Um, Marendon Pundabali and Big Bear. Oh, cool. 
Sila Cheryl Swoops ba? Sila Tisha Penichero. Yeah. That's nice. I got to interview Kobe po. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, your junior NBA stint. Uh, that they sent him a video, no? Yes po. Yeah. Or Kobe, no, is Kobe your favorite athlete too? Um, next to Jordan. Next to Jordan. Yeah, that's a good choice. Yeah. I'm hoping LeBron's next. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> but yeah, how is that like? Um, actually getting to like talk to Kobe somehow, some way. Like he knows you exist. So how was that? He knew at least. Uh, I didn't know when I was gonna interview Kobe Bryant. I thought when it was Kobe for us na I interview ko. So oh. I was when I said, no, it's Kobe Bryant. It's like, nakailang takes po kami sa video kasi sobrang nanginig po ako ganun. Yeah, what, kami... was, what was your question to Kobe? Like, I think it's, ano po, what advice can you share to young girls like me a dream of becoming wow. a professional or something? Yeah, and I think Kobe's the perfect person to answer for that. Yeah. He really paved the way or uh, he was the champion, I'd like to say, for women's basketball. What did Kobe say? To focus on the basics. Because there are a lot of um, athletes now, like, they don't focus on the, the basics anymore. Yeah. Like, they na po sila agad sa advance. Uh, you can't do that po unless you master the basics first. Po. Yeah, that's a very Kobe answer, actually. Yeah, I'd say something like that. <laughs> so, did you get to meet Kobe when he came here? No, po. Ah, uh, no. But at least you still got to go and go talk to him, no? So speaking of the basic training, uh, you got into varsity in Miriam College, right? Yeah. What grade was that when you started varsity? Grade four, when I was a transfer at that time. Po. Ah, okay. From where? I was miss po, so I was once in a co-ed school po, and wala yeah. po varsity doon. Yes, yeah, same. That's where I transferred. Ako naman sa Assumption. So, there was a vo- I know Assumption and Miriam magkalaban no, yan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yun, mababa grades ko. <laughs> <laughs> Chemistry wasn't my best subject. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you got into basketball grade four. That's a good early start. That's what, I was the youngest po sa team that time. Okay, yeah. Kasi parang yung start po ng varsity is like grade 6. Ganun yeah. Po. So grade start- 4 pa lang nakapasok ka na. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> How was that like for you? Ang saya din po kasi sila coach Carl po, my coach po sa Miriam, they just saw me sa club po kasi my, my club was basketball club. So yun. <laughs> Sinama po nila ako sa training. So, sige po, nag-improve na lang yun po na nag-improve. Mm. So, yung mga kasama mo at that time, uh, they were older than you? Yes po. Tawag po nga po sa akin dati, baby girl po. Kasi as in, super yeah. baby girl po. You were the youngest? <laughs> yes po. Okay. So, what drills would you picked up at that time? Were, was it the basics also? Yes well like, Simple basic given skills po ganun. Nakakasabay na rin po sa sa kanila po. So, nag-progress ka from grade 4, grade 5, grade 6. And then, did you guys take grade 7? Yes po. I didn't skip any batch. Okay. So, eventually, you went to grade 7. Throughout those years in, what, your high school now, no? Yes po. Grade 9 po. Grade 9, so that's like first year high school, right? Second year high school. First year. Second, okay. Second year sa yung hindi mo K-12. Okay. So, let's go muna throughout your uh, elementary. Uh, what tournaments did you get into? I know Miriam was a pretty standout basketball team. Like, they were always, like, the team to watch, the right? If I'm not mistaken. So midgets po, yes, but very yeah. like sa high school po, underdogs po yung MC. Sa high school, yeah. okay. So, um, nung grade, yeah. Nung grade 4 po, like, lang po kami yung fourth, fourth place, ganun po. Mm. And the fourth five. Tapos parang nung grade 6 po, champions po kami nung grade 6. Hanggang grade 7 po. Nag-champions din kayo. Yeah. Was it led by you? Was the team led yes, by you? Yes, I was the nice. season MVP po. Back to back. Oh, wow! Season MVP for two straight years? Yes, po. 
Oh, okay. before the season starts, po, tinaklim ko na pusa ko, which na coach, we're gonna be champs this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's so nice. That's mamba mentality. <laughs> Go, sis. <laughs> so, what's your position? At shooting guard? Let me guess. Point guard, shooting guard. Point guard, shooting guard. So, were you guys running an offense na? Or were you guys doing the zone or the triangle offense at that young age? Um, not really pa po sa mga plays play. Kasi, yun po, hindi pa po namin masyado mahihintindihan at that time. And ah, okay. Okay. So, I so ball. Oh, po, ganun. I was so ball. So, who who other schools did you face during your um tournament? Um, oh. yung current toughest opponent po naman is St. Paul and Zobel po. Ah, not assumption. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So, yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. St. Paul and Zobel, yeah, they're pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> What league was this? Sorry? WNCAA po. Ah, WNCAA. How about, uh, were there other tournaments or was it just WNCAA? WBL din. Po. WBL, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, champions din kayo doon? Last year po, champions po. Last year. Yeah. WBL is high school, di ba? Opo. Uh, Yes, we were actually then po sa midges division kasi 14 under po. So, binaba po ko ng coach ko. So, Camille, throughout the years you were uh, playing, so let's say ele- yeah, elementary till now, grade 4, would you say my progress ba ang WBL or WNCAA or women's young women's basketball uh, throughout the years, would you say my progress in terms of participants or in terms of people watching or audience or just the league in general? So, bring laka na po ng progress ng generally women's basketball for the Philippines. Because, yeah, ngayon po pag nananod pa yo, you see na and dami pong talented players, ganun po. and dumadami na po talaga yung players. That's natin. awesome. So this is something you want to pursue in the future, no basketball, like yes, ah, nice, nice. I knew it when I said a while ago in the future phase. I'm confident <laughs> that's so. So going back to your uh, previous year, uh, just uh, the past year, no, no, like champions, kayo. Uh, what was that like for you? How different is that stage compared to the early few stages? of your quote-unquote basketball career? So, before po kasi kami mag-champions, like sa WNC and CAA, parang eight years straight po, champions yung Zabel po. Mm, Tapos, yeah. So, yeah, yun po, puro sila po yung champions. So, parang, sobrang saya lang po ng feeling na nakuha po namin yung, yung first, yung champions, ganun po. Kasi, alam ko na yung pinaghirapan po namin yun. Mm. So you broke their eight year like championship. Yeah, okay. yeah. last year lang yon. Yeah, yun po yung grade six ako. Pero um last year po yun po yung champions po kami sa WBL. WBL, yeah. WNCA nag champions din kayo last year. No po, sa high court lang po. Ah, court. So for WBL, how was it like? Was that the first time you were champions? Or yes, for the WBL. Uh, how did that feel like? Before the season starts, I'm going to claim ko na po sa coach ko na uh-huh. mga champion. Tapos po, so the team that we were up against the finals, the first time po na nakalaban po namin sila, we lost. We lost. Yeah. So yun po, like as in... I took the blame for that loss. Tapos umiiyak po yeah. ako ganun. Tapos sabi ko, hindi pwedeng hindi po kami babawi. So yun, yeah. he won the one po. Tapos sa so WNCAA naman, ano yung mga rank? Like rank. you had mentioned for, and I'm pretty confident you'll be first soon. But <laughs> what are the ranking of the school sa so WNCAA? Oh, uh, yung, yung strongest team po is Changkai sa high school po. So, ah, okay. Yeah. This followed by Zobel. Yeah. Then Lasal Antipolo po. Ah, okay. Iba iba yung Lasal, no? They're oh. different teams, different branches. Wow. <laughs> Love it. And then 
Uh, nag-champion kayo sa WBL. That was your first uh, high school mo, di ba? How did that, how did it feel like, how was the championship game like? Like, was so, it more of nerves or you're someone na who can really strive under pressure? Um, Siyempre po na una na feel ko rin po yung kaba kasi yung thought po na natalo kami nila nung una. Pero, mm-hmm. pero alam ko naman po sa sarili ko na like, hindi pa ako papayag na matalo yeah. po kami ulit sa kanila eh. So, yeah. yun, sabi ko tayo lang din po na na tupad ko po yung sabi ko kala coach na will be champions po again. Okay. So, when you told your coach, uh, shout out to your coach. <laughs> when you told your coach um, that, okay, we're gonna be champions again, what brought that confidence? Like, what sparked that confidence in you na, okay, you believe mong champions kayo? Because you wouldn't say that if you didn't have that confidence in your team, di ba? And I'm pretty sure something like really pushed you to feel that way. So what was that factor that really, you know, made you think na, okay, you're going to be champions this time around? So you're about I really hate losing po. And yeah. Yeah. Siguro po, and yung belief na binibigay ko po sa sarili ko. Yeah. Kasi if well, hindi ko po, hindi po ako nagtitiwala sa sarili ko parang, wala pong sense yung, yung hard work ko po na ginagawa. So, parang um, mindset ko po dapat lagi lang po may tiwala sa sarili ko. So, confidence in yourself, you'd say, is the key. Yes. And how do you, like, make that confidence happen? Do you work, do you make sure you work harder than anyone? Or do you constantly practice and practice on your game? Yes, well, I'm the type of player po na who's scared na like ma outwork po ako by anyone ganun yeah. po. Kasi parang yun parang gusto ko po na may isa po na mas nag work po ako sa kanya ganun, mas yeah. nagte-train po ako like very Kobe mentality. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> But, siguro I love Kobe and Jordan so much. Yeah. Yeah. So how's your work ethic like? Like you say na parang you don't want your competitors to outwork you, but you don't necessarily know how hard your opponents are. Siyempre, di ba? Kasi it's not like you're in a bubble and you see how ano, they work. So how do you make sure that you work harder than your opponents? So one example is boys. Yung ano po, I don't let this pandemic stop me from improving. Ganun po. I actually, ano po, posted sa story ko po one time na nagta-training pa rin po kami ni Daddy kahit umuulan na po. Okay, so, yeah. Nagsha-shooting pa rin po kami kahit umuulan. Every yeah. train po, like me and my dad would shoot like 500, 2,000 shots. Oh, kahit wow. Three points po. up. Um, and perimeter po, ganun po. Perimeter. Yeah. Oh, you mentioned shots. What is the what would you say is the biggest asset of your game? Mm. Feel ko po yung ano, my ability po to create open shots for me and my teammates po. Ah, that's nice. So you can run plays ganon. Yes, po. Nice, nice. So what's your favorite play to run? Play to run. Mm. Pa- sa MC po kasi parang wala po talaga kayong play-play pa po. Ah, okay. So it's yeah. iso ball. O parang gano'n po. Or mag- maghingi po ako ng screen. Mm. So Camille, I'd like to ask you lang. Uh, you mentioned nga throughout the years you were an MC and then you had transferred from a co-ed school to an all-girls school to uh, focus on your basketball uh, quote-unquote career, di ba? I'd like to mention, has there been any time in your life where you felt degraded for being um, a woman basketball player? Like, has have you received major sexist comments? Um, sa, sa iba, not really to me po, pero I know na parang a lot of people can't accept na girls can ball po, ganun yes. po. Yes, oh. So I roll. <laughs> <laughs> But did you ano? Did you experience that directly? No, naman. 
No, no, but pero kasi po, I've been, ano, I've played po sa leagues where I'm against boys po. So, and, mm. Wow. Siguro, and may times po na I wouldn't be able to touch the ball po, ganun. Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. so parang, yung parang, an, iniisip ko na lang po na I gotta earn their respect po, ganun. So parang, pinapakita ko po talaga na I can ball against them po, ganun. Yeah. So, was that like versus your brothers or ibang like set of basketball players? Nakikip, ibang set din po ng basketball yeah. players. Nakikipaglaro po talaga ako sa boys. Sinasanay po ako nila. Ah, that's nice. Uh, half court or full court talaga? Full court po. Was it something na when you first did that, was it some medyo challenging at first? Yes, well, as I um, iba po yung physicality sa uh-huh. games. Ito si yung pinapalari po sa kanyang daddy, as in matatanda na po sila. Yeah. Mm, like, when you say matanda, like, how much older? Like, like siguro, let's say mga 22. Ah, 20. okay. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty mature, ah. Huh? <laughs> oh, super. Yeah. Is it something you're still <laughs> adjusting to, or something na you you you've adjusted to already na pwede ka lang pumasok and play with them. Oh, sanay naman na, ngayon pa sanay na po ako to play with boys ganun ko. Mm. How did you get used to that? Did you just constantly um play with them or parang you just constantly participated? Yun ganun po. L- lagi nang din po ako sumasali po sa kanila. Yeah. Advantage po kasi yun when I go up against boys. Yes. Boys. True naman. Kasi the physicality is there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned kanina na parang you had to earn their respect. Uh, would you say that's still something you're trying to do or na-earn mo na yan? Feel ko naman po na-earn ko na po kasi due to the ano po, the act achievements na natanggap ko po. So, parang na-recognize na po nila ako ganun po. Mm, okay. So, that's something you're gonna continue to do. Yeah, that's actually really good training. Speaking mm-hmm. of training mo. Yeah. Oh, Camille, I'd like to ask, what are your best achievements so far? I mean, it's already an achievement proving to men na, oh, women can ball for sure. Mm-hmm. But in terms of like your career sa Miriam or your young career in the WBL and WNCAA. Uh, what are some of your notable achievements? Siguro so, po, unang-una po yung, kasi po I was the first Filipina to represent Asia Pacific po sa Orlando po. Yeah. So, yun po. I actually didn't expect po na like makukuha po ako sa team. Yeah. Kasi when we, so when we went to Indonesia po, like, yung kalaban po namin dun mga 6'4", ganun po. Mm, ang takad. So I was actually the smallest po sa team. Yeah. Was that, um, some, you represented the Philippines? Yes, but our team represents Asia Pacific po. Okay, so it's around Asia. How was that like for you? Uh, did you guys win that tournament? No, Paul, because we were like the best 14 year old was uh, in the whole world. Boy. Yeah. Is Pero, that women's only or co ed? Oh, my boys team then, po. Oh. I, I was with three Filipinos then, po. That's interesting. So, how were you the only representative from the Philippines or you were one of the few? I was the only Filipina po, pero there wow. were Filipinos po. How did you get chosen for that? Was it because of your, uh, you stood out sa WNCAA or WBL? Oh, junior NBA po yan. So that's like a long process for it. So yeah. there's, there's like, mm, like three stages po here sa Philippines pa lang po. So like, my part, yung una po yung regional selection cup where junior NBA will go to different provinces po. Tapos pipili po sila doon for like seven to seven boys then seven girls po. Tapos yeah. naipapadala po sa here sa Manila. Tapos lahat po nang nagpili nila from different regions, provinces, maglalaban po ulit. 
So, pipili po sila ulit to represent Philippines. Tas, yeah. Na, nandito po sa Philippines. Ako po yung nag-FVP po. Oh, wow. Okay. How many players were you up against? I'm not sure po. But I think my 30 girls din po yung from different regions. From 30 go number one. That's amazing. That was what year? Uh, last year po. Ah, okay. That's the same year you went to Orlando, no? Oh, po. Yeah, then that's where you met the players. Uh, Did you get to talk to Dwayne Wade? No, po. But we had that team, team picture, po. Ah, team picture. Wow, Tara. We're in Orlando. In the bubble. <laughs> yeah, that's the, in the bubble. Please, po. Please in the bubble? Yes, the same hotel. Same. Oh, so you've been in the bubble before anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Same hotel siya. I forgot. It was a Florida. Yes, it Florida. So Walt Disney po sila nag-play. Oo. Doon ka din nag-play. Oh, same, same arena. Oh, pero in the book nila yung set up. Ah, okay. Did you get to like live the bubble experience? Yung tipong hindi ka pwedeng lumabas or like... Oh, oh, oh you guys... Are... Yeah, oh, so wow. far sa hotel lang din po. I feel like... Planned na po kung ano po yung gagawin namin for the day. Ganito. Oh, wow. That's nice. You got to live the bubble. <laughs> was, that like, was that experience like something na you'll never forget and it's what's constantly helping you build your career? For sure po. Also, I learned a lot po during that, ano po, during that time po. Like, tas yung teammates ko po, <laughs> hindi po na siya din na intindihan niya isa't isa. Ah, oo, oh, ito oh, oh, kasi from Asia, Pacific, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I po feel ko hindi kami nanalo kasi due to ano eh, language barrier po. Like, hindi kami siya din intindihan. Oo. Kasi konti lang po yung nakakapag-English po. Yeah. So, what are some of the things you learned sa camp? Like, you mentioned kanina na that's gonna continuously build help you build your career. What are some of the key aspects you learned? So, first ever bubble experience. Siguro po, unang-una yung, na there are really a lot of talented players na po sa, buong, um, sa whole world po. Yeah. Na, Especially for women's basketball. Yeah. Man. So, bro, po, kasi po, I actually saw Jada Williams there na sila, Sila Williams, mm-hmm. basta yung parang projected number one pick was a WNBA sa yeah. batch naman and ganun pa. So like, yeah. ma- nak- nakita ko po kung ano po po yung kailangan ko yung improve, ganun po. Yeah. So uh, you learned more about the game, basically. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I'd like to go back to the progress of women's basketball. What are your thoughts on that? And how happy does it make you feel? Especially since... Um, you have high hopes of making it to um, the Philippine women's Philippine basketball league someday. Oh, yung I'm actually very happy po. Actually, hindi ko po describe kung yung feeling po na nagdaan ko na may w- WNBL na po, and sobrang excited po. So you know, little by little, yung female boys here po in the country are are now given the opportunity to like show their talents po sa other people and. I'm sure po na marami pong magugulat kasi really have a lot of underappreciated players ganun po. Yeah. Due to lack of um opportunities po na nabibigay. Yeah. So now there's an opportunity and I was quite happy to hear the news na a lot uh registered. Yes, no? like 700 po yata. Yeah, so you're going to be watching that often. <laughs> that was for you naman like um, we know that COVID has kind of like halted going to school. Has it affected your training? So training po, no. I I actually feel po na mas nagte-train ko o ngayon, ngayong may pandemic. Hmm. Ka- You're na- court? Y- yes po, and sa court po here sa subdivision, nakakapunta ah, po kami. Okay. Lalock na lang po namin. Ganun. Yeah. So what have you been training during this pandemic um most of the parang dad's training me to be like a left hand dead player po. so parang ginagawa kong dominant hand yung 
non-dominant hand ko po. Oh, wow. So you're, uh, I don't want to reveal so much to maybe <laughs> your, at least when you're practicing your weakness, basically. Yes. But do you have um any news or updates on what's going to happen to the WBL or WNCAA? Since um, parang, we can't really play, will a bubble be in play for that? I'm not sure na po sa WNCA and WBL eh. So, ngayon po parang wala po kami ng school trainings pa po. So, feel ko po wala po for this year po. Hmm. So, what's a training day for you? Like, how do you start your routine? Especially now since you're not in school and medyo parang um, you don't really have the i mean the equipment you have in school diba where i'm assuming it's like a like big full court with the, a lot of balls and a lot of cones where you can really train do you have those at your place too or you're yes, totally improvised ah yeah, you have that too yes. nice so how, yeah so how's like balancing your student athlete life like um, ngayon po kasi di ba po, online setup po, so mm-hmm. nag-adjust po po. I actually find it more stressful po sa face-to-face class. Yun. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Okay. So yun po, so class po sa morning, hanggang morning lang na po class namin, like mm-hmm. up 11.45 po. Tapos mag-train po kami ng dad ko like sa afternoon po. So, what's something you're constantly trying to develop in your game? Um, siguro po yung um yung yeah. ano po, yung defense po and po and the way po na to create open shots pa po for my teammates because that's something na kaya ko po po improve. Yeah. Uh you mentioned na. Uh, you're trying to develop that teammate factor na parang you're creating open shots for your teammates. How are you doing that now given na um, given na parang your teammates are not around or are your teammates around when you're training? No po, pero I have like kasama po sa training. So we play like 3v3 3v3 po, ganun po. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. So you're developing um, your playmaking aspect. Yes, okay. Is that something you're constantly focusing on or you're still developing your uh, all-around game? Um, feel, yung sinasabi po kasi ni Daddy, yun po yung, ay, also may shooting po pala. Shooting, perimeter shooting. Yeah. Whose game you want to mimic the most? Like, who are you, is there a specific player, local or international, you, now you're looking at now, na parang you're like, okay, ganyan yung gagawin ko. Uh, yung work ethic niya or the way he shoots the ball. Is there a player out there na you're trying to imitate? There are actually a lot po. Ganyan. So, so one po, syempre po yung work ethic ni Kobe, yun po yung pinaka-important. Yeah. And um, Chris Paul's playmaking ability po, ganyan. Tapos, Steph Curry's shooting, yun po. Sila, sila Luca po, idol ko din. Ah, si Luca, yeah, I can imagine. Ang taas ng Luca rating niya, no? I'm really happy. Yeah. What was your favorite Luca play this season? He's gonna be an MVP for sure soon. Opo. I'm galing niya for a sophomore. Opo, I'm confident about that then. Ah, so, so you're looking at Luca and then Kobe's work ethic and Steph's shooting. So from the best of the best talaga. So that's what Camille does. She, as we learned, she looks at the best of the best in their crafts from Kobe's shooting, to, uh, from Kobe, sorry, from Kobe's work ethic. I think that's what really defines Kobe. To Steph's shooting, to Luca's playmaking. I think that's the perfect person. And that's where she builds her confidence, which helps her in her sport. Okay, we'll hear more from Camille when we get back. We'll take a break and get back. We'll be back shortly. This is Sports Watch. Only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. 
connected ka na ba? Para laging updated sa mga bagong shows, promos, trending news, viral videos, events, o patok na OPM hits, just follow us on Facebook at V81 Radio South Manila. Simple lang, itype lang ang letter V81 Radio South Manila. O di ba madali lang, kaya ilike at follow na. Are you ready to explore a new kind of music? Yung bang kakaiba na hindi mo pa napapakinggan, mga bagong artist? Nagugulat sa inyo sa kanilang awit at tugtugan. Discover them, hear them in Napalm Hour. Ang Napalm ay ang new all Pinoy alternative music source na para sa kakaibang musika. Alternative artists and bands all the time. Catch them at Napalm Hour. Mondays through Fridays, 12 noon to 1 p.m. and 8 to 9 p.m. Streaming live on V81 Radio Mobile App. Kaya i-download mo na for free. Now na! A spirit-filled song that talks about healing from the Lord Jesus Christ, our great healer. Nasasaktan Kumikirot ang aking puso Hilumin mo awit ng kagalingan at pagsamba by Felsen Hilumin mo ang sukat ng aking puso Digitally available everywhere and here on V81 Radio Ikot paturo po dahil lang ngayon ang buka Gusto niyo ba ng bagong tracks na mapapakinggan ngayon yung October? Pwede ba ang magpakilang? Is that a better left? Kasa mo 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 At CD and the Years, ito lang yan sa NAPAM, your new all Pinoy alternative music source, exclusively on V81 Radio, South Manila. Now back to Sports Watch, all here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, we're back here at Sports Watch with our guest, Camille. Hi again, Camille. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'd like to ask the man in this segment more on like your long-term and short-term goals and how life is now for a student athlete, especially since we're facing unprecedented times. So um, you mentioned kanina na uh, it's more stressful to online learn and I can imagine because learning talaga is challenging in different ways especially if you're doing it online uh i'd like to talk more about that how's your schooling like right now can you give us like can you walk us through lang on how a high schooler or grade nine right is um dealing with the uh new set of format of learning Oh, ngayon, like what I said po, I'm still adjusting to this kind of setup po. Pero hmm. I, I think I'm doing fine naman po kasi sa, hinahelp din po ako ng mga friends ko. Like, ganun po, sama-sama rin po kami nag adjust po. So, yun po, sila po yung lagi ko kasama po. Mm, so, um, is it like, in Miriam, is it like uh, at 7 in the morning and then the whole day you're on your computer? um throughout the day like seven to three because in assumption for me it was like that eh, parang, uh 7 45 to 3 30 it was uh schools school for us but now with the pandemic ongoing was that how it was like for you is that how it's like for you yung nasa computer ka from seven to three Ngayon na po, ano, from 8.45 to like 11.45 lang naman po. Tapos, there's uh-huh. like two classes po. So, depends po sa teacher pag in po like, asynchronous kayo for this period or like synchronous po. Yan po. Mm-hmm. 
Ah, okay. Then how are quizzes like? Is it more of like written papers na lang? No, po. Sa Google, sa, ay, sa Google, pinasagutan yun. Ah, sa Google. Okay. You mentioned kanina na uh, you're still working on your game even after school, which is really, really super good. Uh, I'd like to ask, did is that like, did it change your goals since like the pandemic happened? Parang has it affected how you look at your basketball career? Especially now since we're not super sure when the WNCAA or WBL will be back. No, naman po. So, since then po, yung goal ko po talaga is like to get better each and every day po. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, I'd like to ask for your basketball career now. What are your long with short and long term goals like is there a college or university you're eyeing to go to now or do you want to pull a kobe kevin garnett where um you or lebron james where you want to go straight from high school <laughs> to the philippine so, basketball league so in long term goal to make it to the WNBA, yeah yun talaga yung ultimate dream po where so, so short term goal, but yun nga po, just like what I said for you, to get better each and every day. Po. Yeah. So to get better each and every day, you're constantly training. And yeah. Yeah. Do you imagine yourself na as a professional league? Na? Like, do you know some of the players who are trying to enroll in the draft right now? Yes. Yeah. Po. Yung iba po kasi nakalaban ko na po sila sa leagues. Kasi I joined like open leagues po eh. So, nakalaban ko po iba po doon. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have a university na in mind that you want to get into? No. Wala ba? <laughs> You're just taking it day by oh, day. Yeah. yeah. So, like, right now, how, what else are you doing to build your career? Especially during the pandemic. Um, lagi lang po nakikinig kay daddy rin po kasi he knows better than me po. So, yun po. Mm, so, every day you have something to work on? Yes po. Trainings po talaga. What advice would you give um young professional, uh, young, those who are as- aspiring also to uh, go to the league or to continue working on their craft? Um, to always believe in yourself po and to keep working hard po. Kasi that's like the secret to success po. Eh. Yung work hard lang po talaga. Yeah. I'd like, uh, you said that that's your secret to success. Like, what made you realize that it's really hard work? Did you go through a challenging phase in your um career so far? Challenging phase. Okay. Siguro po po an ano, when I sprained my PCL po. So, PCL? That's... Yeah, that's... So, parang, there's like ACL po, MCL, then PCL yeah. po. Yeah. Oh, like, no. I sprained my PCL po, so I couldn't play basketball for like two months. Two months. Yes, but so, sobrang hirap po for someone who's addicted to like training, ganun po. So, yun po, I couldn't train to... Yung, parang naiba ko yung laro ko when I got back kasi wala pong trainings. Ganun. Yeah. When did that injury happen? Was it during season? Buti nga po sa year po eh. Like 27. Ah, uh, prior to the pandemic, uh, what was the time frame of the leagues? Sabay ba ang WNCA and WBL? No po. Magkasunod po sila. So, Pagkatapos po ng W, pagtapos po ng league po ng WNCA, tsaka po yung WBL. Ah, okay. So, it's a year-round kind of thing? Oh. Ah, okay. What happens for, ah, WBL happens first. WN. WN. Oh, from what month to what month yun? Yung WN po, like, August, ay, September to like, November po. September to November. Yung W... And well, WNCA September 2. Is that um every other day my game kayo or 
Depends mm-hmm. really on the schedule, but like Saturday, Sunday. Po. Saturday, Sunday. Oh, uh, like tuloy tuloy yung game or every other time? Every other time, no. Okay. And then WBL is when to when? November to it's finished na po ano by Christmas po tapos na po yun. Ah okay. And then same time in WNCAA. Ah uh, na una lang po siya ng contest after po ng WNCAA po yun. Oh wow, so tuloy tuloy kay. Ah, oh, you mentioned your injury, if you mind me asking. You mentioned your injury. Uh, how did that happen? Was it something na parang it just, was it a pop? It wasn't a pop naman, no? It was a sprain? Actually, hindi ko pa po siya naramdaman the day itself. Like, naramdaman ko po siya kinabukasan na po. Kasi po, so, I was taking a layup po, tapos may okay. sumagot po sa akin, tapos natamaan po yung lower body body part ko po. So, parang I fell hard po. Tapos, nauna po yung baba ko po and yung knee ko. Oh, no. Against who team was this? Um, sa, ano po yun eh. Parang, um, kasama po, iba-ibang players po yung kasama. So, parang exhibition game. Ah, okay. Exhibition game siya. And then, you mentioned na when you fell, did you feel the injury right away or was it something you continued to play with? Walang no, after po nun, parang nakakapaglaro pa po ka ng 3x. Ah, Pero okay. may, something, may, may masakit na po. Ganun po. Yeah. How did you, uh, did, did you find out on the day itself na, oh shucks, you, um, your PCL, you sprained your PCL or was it after a few games pa? Um, the day after na po nung day na yun. Kasi po, kasi I, that night po, I slept po sa brother's room ko. Tapos double deck po siya. Tapos so, sa taas po ako ng double deck. Tapos, I really had a hard time po going up. Tapos mm-hmm. parang ganun po. So, sinabi ko po kalamami. Tapos, pinacheck po namin. Tapos, as in po, like, Pag, pagpasok po sa car, na iiyak na po kasi I couldn't bend it. Yeah. Uh, so, the pain just came like a few days after or? A day after po. Na a day po. after. So, while it was hap- while you sprained your foot na, you kept playing. You, you oh. still kept playing. Buti na lang, it no, didn't no, like. I had to rest po for like two months po. Ah, no, no. I meant after the injury happened. Oh, yeah. I, I naglari oh, po. Oh, wow. Buti wala kang na-feel na discomfort while playing. Buti wala kang feel na po ko, pero I didn't want to think about it po kasi yeah. gusto ko pa na baka mawawala din po ito. Oo, uh, uh, gets. Because you thought it was just like a tweak, like uh, bone or something. Yeah. So when you had that moment, you had yourself checked sa hospital. Was there a league going on? Or you mentioned it was summer, no? Oh, so, oh, well, when you when it's summertime, but for you guys at Miriam Varsity, you guys still train or you start the training when the school year begins? Na. So, pag nag start na po yung school year, but at that time po, may league po ako na sinasalihan din po. Ah, okay. What leagues do you join over the summer? I'm not sure, but may iba iba po yung iba po. Ah, okay. <laughs> Po. Tapos, yung league po na sinasalian ka that time, parang the time I got back, parang championship na po yun. So, whatever's available during the summer, that's where you register. Okay. Okay. What are your normal go-tos? Maybe we can share them to our aspiring young basketball players. Uh, what leagues do you recommend for them to join? Especially when the pandemic comes. Uh, what summer leagues do you recommend they get into na which helped you in your young career? Um, ano, siguro po, yung pinakamalaking help po sa akin is yung open leagues po. Kasi it's where I compete po against um, older players po. Eh. Kasi yung kalaban ko po dun, like graduates na po sila, ganun po. Mm, okay. So going back to your injury again, uh, you found you went to you guys went to the hospital with your with your parents. You went to the hospital with your parents, and then uh, did it take time before you found out that it was a PCL or 
was it something that you found out on the day itself? We found out that the day itself, because parang I was asked to wear po a knee immobilizer po. Ah, oh, okay. How was that process like? Can you share with us? So bring nakakaiyak po kasi like the thought po na I couldn't win. The thought of na you couldn't win. How about like just trying to find out what was the result of your injury? How was like you mentioned that you had to get in a uh, you had to try a knee immobilizer, right? How did they like do that to you? How's that like? Can you walk um, through the process? I, um, parang ika ika po talaga ang lahat kasi nahirapan po like I straight or I bent po yung knee ko. So, kaya po sobrang helpful po nung knee immobilizer po. Ah, okay, yes. So when you found out it was PCL, did the doctor tell you agad na, oh, you're gonna be out for two months? Or kayo yung nag-decide na two months na you're gonna sit out? Oh, kailangan ko po talaga ako mag-rest na kasi na-sprain na po. Good thing nga po na-sprain lang po eh. Mm, so, yes. pa po yung two months uh, compared sa ibang injuries. Okay, yes, yes naman. Uh, so, when you experienced that injury, you mentioned kanina, camps were going on and it really, like, it stopped you from winning. So, what did you do throughout those two months of being sidelined? Uh, Siyempre pa kasi, since I couldn't train, parang nanonood na lang po ako ng mga basketball kasi by watching, uh, we always watch po kami ng, ng dad ko pa ng brother screen po. Kasi, pag na- Sorry, nanonood, can, you, uh, can you repeat nanonood. that? What, what do you watch? Um, Highlights po, basketball highlights. Ah, highlights, okay. But, Whose highlights do you like to watch? Um, and dami po eh. Like, sila Birds. Sila Birds. Oh, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> Sa, who else? Sa local naman, who do you like to uh, check out? Si Scotty Thompson po. Scotty Thompson, yeah. So I'm assuming you like you want to be a shooter or <laughs> shooting talaga. Eh, sa NBA, you mentioned Steph, Luca. Who else are you looking at now? What's your favorite team? Miami ka, ba? I was rooting for Miami, but I, uh, oh, why? <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> I understand. I love how Miami plays basketball. So mm-hmm. oh, ganda. Who who do you normally root for in uh, NBA? Actually, pa iba iba po ko na. Pa iba iba. Yeah. Parang parang Jordan fan po talaga. Also parang wala po talaga ako yung oh Lakers ako ganyan po parang yeah yes, so, yes. if you let me choose between two teams po there's a team na kakampihan ko po pero like, you know well, hindi po ako yung diehard na team fan gets yeah po. yes are you more of a play cause the iba yun di ba being a player person and being a team person cause yeah. for me I first super liked Kobe and then I became a Laker fan mm-hmm. and then since I super love Kobe uh na support ko na yung Lakers so mm-hmm. I ended up loving the Lakers and then now the Lakers got LeBron in AD so now it's like I like the Lakers not naman more than LeBron in AD but of course mm-hmm. I'm here for the team now ikaw naman how is it like for you are you a are you more of the your root for the player or you for the team so you're saying as a same. Yung player po na nagugusan ko, parang they make the team better po. Mm-hmm. Who are those players for you? Uh, both W, ah, could be WNBA, PBA, UAP even. Do you watch UAP and NCAA also? Yes, but minsan po sa UAAP. Do you watch them live or do you watch them like on TV? Minsan po live, minsan po sa TV lang po. I got to watch last season po yung ah, yeah. sa live po yung women's basketball po na yeah. What game did you watch live? Um, Ateneo versus Lasa. Yeah, that was a fun game. Yeah. Uh, what are the other games you've watched live? Uh, like last year for. Uh, yeah, last year. I mean, but it may have been this year, but I don't know. 
Wala. Maybe lang tayo. Or na-experience ko na yung bubble. <laughs> Pero last year, when it was when it was all ongoing, what were your favorite games na inattend mo live? Could be all. Si- siguro po yung ano, yung UAP Juniors po sa women's po. Kasi it was the first time last year po na magkaya ng UAP Juniors for women's po. Ah, okay. UAP Juniors. Where was that held? Uh, I forgot po. Pero parang sa San Juan. Ah, okay. San Juan Arena, probably. Uh, uh, po. <laughs> Have you watched an NBA game live na? Mm, yung dun po sa China po. Tapos po. Lakers oh, versus Brooklyn? No po. Yung, yung when I met Jimmy Butler po. Mm. Also po nung, nung last playoffs po. Nung ag- Lakers against Rockets. Kasi ako oh, nanood my. po dun sa Instagram. Ah, sa virtual last... game po. Sa virtual game. Ah, ah, ah. What game was that? What game? Lakers versus Rockets po. No, no. Game what? Oh, I'm not sure po. Game 4 Ah, yeah. game four. Panalo, panalo Lakers niya. <laughs> How was the virtual uh, experience like? Oh, was it something na parang naka, nasa Zoom ba yun? Or? Uh, Zoom po. Parang Zoom. Zoom. Tapos parang ilalagay po nila yung phrase niyo po dun sa seats po. Oh, 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 oh. nice. And then, guess you were watching the game sa same ano din siya. Oh, uh, well. Ah, interesting. So, let me tell you. Uh, did you watch any PBA game last? Last, not last year po. Pero, nanad po kami ng live when he, he never won against Miralco po ng mm. fight po. Yung game winner po ni Brownie. Brownie. Oh yeah, that must be pretty fun. How was that like for you? Sobrang saya po kasi like sobrang gulo po ng arena. Yeah, yeah. Tapos I got inside the dugout po po. I had a picture with Brown Lee no? Ah, cool, cool. How was he like? Super nice din po. Like, he had time po po na mag-click sa akin kahit nagsiselebrate na po yun. Yeah, po. when he shot me Brownie, no? Oh, po. Nice, nice. Oh. Uh, how about UAP or Gilas? Any Gilas interactions you? Gilas. Wala pa po masyado, pero parang uh, nakapunta na po ako sa Gila's tryout po. Hmm. Yes. Uh, how about outside basketball naman? I know for the past couple of, the past hour we've been talking about your basketball. What's kami like outside basketball? Like, what else are you into besides sports? Or if, do you have other sports you have an interest of? Mm, not really but something na I'd say na magaling ako doon pero parang if I try some new sport po parang it's something na makukuha ko po ganun po kasi since parang every in drums po different sports po kasi nilalaro hmm. how about like outside sports what do you like to do on your free time um Siguro po yung pag, ano, jamming sessions with my brothers po. Sorry, what? Jamming sessions with my brothers. So you like playing um, instruments? Yes po. Okay, so, what? Something po, pero I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> what instrument do you like to play? I love playing guitar po. Tinuturuan lang po ka ng kuya ko, tapos... Yun po. Nagpapabili nga po kasi daddy ko ng drums. <laughs> ng drums! That's yeah, that. something I want to be good at po. Yeah, drums. Yeah, you're really expounding your interest. Na, yeah, why not? Like, channel your mambo mentality para sa drums. Hi, diba? dad. <laughs> Shout out to your dad. Hi po, Tito. <laughs> so, uh, other interests. Pero, do you, are you like a video game type of person? Do you play 2K? Uh, sometimes ang po yung 2K kasi sobrang galing po ng kuya ko doon. So, eh, ayoko po yung natatalo ko. So, mm, nag-give up po ako sa 2K kasi ang daya po. So, on your free day, what's a free day like for you? 
is it all basketball? Or kung are like today, after this interview, like what's in store for you? Do you go straight to training or do you do other things also to keep you occupied? So you were you po ano? Well, so you put the play ng God. God, oh, you like mobile games too. Yeah. Right? Tapos yun po, rest lang po sa gata, tapos training rin, rin po later. Constantly training and building her confidence. That's Camille Nolasco for you. So we'll be back more and we'll hear more from Camille in a bit. We'll be back shortly. This is Sports Watch. Only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Gusto nyo ba ng bagong tracks na mapapakinggan ngayong October? Abangan at tumutok lang tuwing Sunday, 1 p.m. Dito sa Napel, your new all-pinog alternative music source. At mag-i-jam kasama si Ram Martinez, Isotone, at CD and the Year. Dito lang yan sa Napel, your new all-pinog alternative music source. Exclusively on Z81 Radio, South Manila. Talagang October to remember. Dahil hindi din pahuhuli ang ibang Viva OPM artists na sasamak sa kantahan sa Home Not Alone Songs From Home Season 2 kasama si Papa Gio, Yumi Laksamana, Isis, Solstice, Just Rap, and Sabu. Kaya isip nyo na ang mga kalendaryo nyo tuwing Merkulis 7pm California time o Huwebes 10am Pinas time. At samahan si Papa Gio para makipagkulitan, awanan, at kantahan sa Home Not Alone Songs From Home Season 2. Dito yan. Sa V81 Radio, Los Angeles. Now back to Sports Watch, all here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, we're back here at Sports Watch with Camille. Yay, Camille. <laughs> okay, so this is the most challenging part of the show. Like, it's even harder than basketball. <laughs> it's uh, We're going to play a rapid-fire game. It's super chill. You can just spit out what the first thing that comes to your mind. So I'm going to give you random questions. Very, very difficult question. <laughs> Tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Ready? I asked you some of them kanina na, but I want you to tell me yung una talaga na pumunta sa head mo. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Stretch muna. <laughs> okay. Favorite basketball player, if you had to pick one. Michael Jordan. Okay. Favorite current basketball player. Oh. Uh, Luca, don't you? Luca talaga. Nice. <laughs> um, favorite local basketball player? Any league? UAP, NCAA, or PPA? Scotty Thompson. Scotty Thompson. Is it because of his shooting, like what we mentioned kanina? Because of, of ano, yung, his ability po to get rebounds then po, as a point okay. guard. Yeah. Oh, so do you look at Ray John Rondo the same way? Because like of how he like gets rebounds and yeah, grab a queen making ability po ni Rondo. Oh, oh, ang galing no, and that's how you look at Scotty also. Like, okay, uh, top three favorite basketball sneakers of all time. The Zoom Free ones, botas, hmm. and yeah. and PG Four as well. Sorry, what was your second one? Any Kobe shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Kobe shoes are nice. I love the front print front to add that. Yeah, yung five. Po. Yeah. If you like Kobe shoes, you should look at what Anthony Davis wears every single game. He has the freshest. Yes, I, I don't know if you watched uh game five of the NBA Finals. <laughs> Anthony Davis came out with the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Like, what are you doing or something Faye? <laughs> <laughs> but then yeah uh, the next game he came out with the Chicago colors in 
a Kobe style shoe. I mean, that's gandang fresh. Amazing. Oh. So you like the freaks? But do you have all three? Um, actually, madami pong colorway yung freaks. I have four po. Ah, okay. What are the colors of your four freaks? I'm not sure po sa tawag, pero yung blue, that's blue. yung white. Yung yeah. Oreo po, yung Oreo. Yeah, tawag. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yung black, yung black na pink and yellow po yung shoelace. Yeah. That was yung, isa po yung bar, yung the one he used po nung all-star po. I'm trying to remember. Red ba? Alam ko red jersey niya eh. But, Parang black with this red, but my red. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You don't like LeBron shoes? Uh, gusto ko po yung LeBron 17 lows po. Lows. Pero hindi ko pa po kasi nagagamit since my pandemic. Oh, uh, yeah. Since it's new. So, what's your go to shoes among three? Like, if you had a big game, kung ara championship game, what's your go to wear? Mm-hmm. Siguro po yung freak ones po. Freak ones. They're for you the most comfortable. Opo. Uh, Para same quality lang naman po sila ng Kobe's. Mm, yes, yes. Uh, what's your favorite shoe in your collection right now? Favorite shoe? Uh, basketball shoes po ba? Yeah. Uh, siguro yung, ano po, yung chaos ko po na Kobe. Yung case. Chaos. Yeah. Chaos. Uh, if you... Outside basketball shoes naman, what's your go-to? Siguro ba yung CBG ko po na Converse? Converse. You're a Converse girl. <laughs> okay. If you weren't playing basketball, what sport would you be playing? Feel ko po tennis. Tennis. Was that something... <laughs> trained when you were young? No po, pero sabi po sa akin ni dad na yun po yung plan niya for me, like, to be a tennis player po. Tennis player sana. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, what's your favorite food? Chicken nuggets po. <laughs> From McDonald's? Or is there like a specific brand? Yes, McDonald's po. Or kahit ano naman po. Go to meal after training. Any rice meal po. How about pre training? Pre training. Mm-hmm. Milo bar po. Milo bar. <laughs> Pero after training, where do you normally go to? Do you go out with your teammates or is your training in the morning or um after class? After class. From what time to what time? So four to six, gano. Oh, po. Normally, gano po. So where do you normally do? You like is that straight your dinner na like after training or like it's just like your go to meal? So after po, ano? Kasi nung may pasok pa po, so like pag sundo po sa akin nila daddy or mommy po para uh, magda drive through na lang po kami. Ah, okay. Sobrang pagod na po ako tapos. Yun po. Pa, hindi na po ka makakain sa bahay. I gotta ask, uh, do you live far from Miriam? Yes po. Yun yung nga po. Quite, yun, quite far. Po. Yes. Yeah. So, how do you manage to balance your... Um, Sorry, this isn't rapid fire. I just have to ask. <laughs> Actually, it's for me then. Because I don't know how that chemistry. Uh, how do you manage to balance your academics and the training duration, especially since it ends after your class. How do you balance that? Because in my classes, po po, I sometimes do my homeworks na po sa school. Ah. With, just, ano po, with the help of my friends na rin po. Because yeah. po, sometimes po my leagues po kami, tapos parang ipupull out po kami sa class. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. How far do you live from like your house to school? How far is your house, your school to MC? Uh, kasi po, pag umalis po kami ng 5.45, malalate na po ako for like 7.15 class. 
Mm. So, umaalis po kami mga 5-10 po. Ganun po. Tapos dadating po kami like mga 6 ganun. There's no traffic po po kasi pag super aga po. Oo, uh-uh. yeah. What is your signature basketball move? If you had to choose one. One lang. <laughs> one lang. <laughs> Siguro po yung in and out tapos attack po. In and out. Yes. Uh, whose game do you want to imitate? Like, if you had to choose one player, like the first player that's coming to your mind. You had mentioned a couple of players a while ago, but sino yung gusto mo talaga? If you had to pick one, whose game you want to really, really imitate? Siguro si Luca. Luca, yeah. Luca talaga, yeah. Uh, what's your ideal jersey number? 12. What's your jersey number now? 12. So is number 12 something na you want to keep, like, for the rest of your career? Yan po yung plan ako po. Why 12? Uh, kasi po, when I first try out, tried out po sa junior NBA, kasi parang you don't get to pick po a jersey number, tapos 12 po yung nakuha ko, tapos po nung grade 4 up po ako sa Miriam, parang isa po yung 12 sa natira po yung jersey number, tapos 12 po yung, yung tapos since then po, 12 na po yung jersey number ko. Yeah, 12 was your first ever jersey number talaga. That's nice. Um, what do you want to be remembered as when you're, I mean, I know it's too early, but what do you want to be remembered as when it's all said and done? Siguro po, ano, to be the first ever homegrown Filipina to ever make it in the WNBA. W, oh, your goal is, oh, Risa Cruz says, hi, Ate Camille. <laughs> your goal is to make it to the WNBA. Yes, that's the ultimate goal. What team in the WNBA? Seattle Storm. Seattle Storm. Because of Subo. Because of Subo. Yeah. Do you have like a player you really want to play with besides Subo? Um, he's so good for the like I do. So WNBA. Yeah. So you want to take your talents internationally right? I mean you kind of did as a junior NBA so uh, first you want to pursue um, women's uh, national basketball here okay. and then uh, you want to go to the states and pursue it because I'm a person who dreams big with talaga okay so you're aiming the WNBA it's point guard the position you really wanna focus on. Uh po um ano po work ano continuous training lang po every day kasi yun po discipline lang po para ma meet ko po yung goal ko po. How about outside sports? Uh personally, what do you wanna be remembered as? Hmm. Outside sports, siguro po ano. Outside sports, <laughs> um, siguro po, ano, kung outside sports po siguro, gusto ko po na lang mag-band na lang po kami ng brothers ko. Band? You want to form a band? What, what kind of genre? Like, what songs do you guys want to release? <laughs> Kasi po yung brothers ko, magagaling po sila, super kumanta. Tapos parang R&B po yung sila. So, like, if, what are your top three sports? Like, if it weren't basketball, what would it be? Uh, basket, um, volleyball, tapos football, tapos tennis po. Yeah. Do you still do those sports even if like you're super into basketball? Like, do you make time for those other sports? Ngayon po, not really po. Yes. So you're more focused, outside basketball, you're more focused on your music. 
Yes, po. Kasi sila kuya po. Sobrang interested po sila sa music po. How are you constantly like building? Is it is your music something you're doing on the side lang or you're constantly building it? So side lang po, ganun po. Like for fun po, ganun. Okay. The three main uh, values or components that basketball or sports slash competition in general help you? Um, respect. Um, respect. Sportsmanship and to have a positive attitude. Okay. What do you think is the most important value that every athlete should embody when they're on the court? Siguro po yung respect po talaga. Respect for opponents. So respect, hard work, and Sorry, to, have a, to have a positive attitude. Oh. Respect, hard work, and having a positive attitude. That's what's going to keep Camille going throughout her basketball career. Okay, we'll take a break and we'll hear more from Camille in a while. We'll be back shortly. This is Sports Watch. Only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Gusto niyo ba ng bagong tracks na mapapakinggan ngayon po October? Abangan at tumutok lang tuwing Sunday, 1 p.m. Dito sa Napalm, your new all Pinoy alternative music source. At makijam, kasama si Ram Martinez, Isotone, at CD and the Years. Dito lang yan sa Napalm, your new all Pinoy alternative music source. Exclusively on Z81 Radio, South Manila. Talagang October to remember. Dahil hindi din po huli ang ibang Viva OPM artists na sasabak sa kantahan sa Home Not Alone Songs From Home Season 2 kasama si Papa Gio, Yumi Laksamana, Isis, Solstice, Just Rap, and Sabu. Kaya isip nyo na ang mga kalendaryo nyo tuwing Merkulis 7pm California time o Huwebes 10 am Pinas time. At samahan si Papa Gio para makipagkulitan, awanan, at kantahan sa Home Not Alone Songs From Home Season 2. Dito yan. It's a V81 Radio, Los Angeles. Now back to Sports Watch, only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, we're back here at Sports Watch with our guest, Camille. Hi, Camille. <laughs> <laughs> To wrap things up, Lan, I'd like to ask some encouraging words you'd like to share for the youth. Um, can you share some advice for women trying to strive in their sport, or um, like let's say women who like once upon a time, what would you like to say to your side? Sigur, um, my advice would be for Anna to don't let others' opinion stop you from doing what you want. To do. And if you want to pursue your sport, you're gonna um, always keep in mind to work hard. And at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy. How would you encourage fed fellow student athletes like you all to work on their game, especially during this time where um, like training is limited and yeah. Um, so, 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 like what my dad always tells me, boss, eh, he always tells me, na, um, whenever I don't play, so, there's someone else who's improving, po. so, parang, they have to keep in mind, na, hindi pwede yung, wala lang yung gumagaling, kasi ito, hindi ka po, nag-improve, yeah. Can you share some tips, like the most basic things they can do to be better every single day for basketball, Nina? Like, in terms of when it comes to basketball, what are the little habits they can develop each day 
that will help them grow as a player. For dribbling, po, you gotta stick to basics, po talaga. Like, hindi mo kailangan yung mga tribbles, tribbles. That's like for Instagram, Instagram posts na lang po. So parang papalakasin yung po talaga yung non-dominant niyo po. Tapos for shooting po, I suggest na parang to take like 100 shots a day po para, shots a day. Yeah, para makuha po ng yung para magas ng alam na po ng body na yung stroke po. How about mentally naman? How do they develop? How do they develop or get used to the game? Or the little thing habits they can develop that will help them mentally adjust to the game? Um, normal lang naman po yung kanyari kakabahan kasi game, pero um, uh, parang dapat po hindi po wala po yung tiwala po sa sarili nyo. How about during like uh, outside naman your athlete life, uh, during COVID, being a young 15-year-old girl, how, what are the things you do to keep you occupied or to keep you, you know, keep your mental health intact during this tough time? Uh, can you give like some tips lang you do, ma? It could also help, that could also help our viewers. Oh, well, during this quarantine process, I am. I learned a lot na, I learned a lot po na ibang gawin, like, yun po masyado just to learn po na to try something new po, kasi ba, di ko na alam, ma-enjoy po na like, this routine po, natuto po ako mag-break with my mom po, kahit pa yung bang gawin lang po, kasi saan niya. Yeah. So, what, uh, what, what did you bake during quarantine? Nagdamin na po. <laughs> <laughs> muffins, okay. muffins and cookies and brownies. <laughs> okay, Camille, before you go, uh, can you please share your social media handles or where people can find you? Oh, my Instagram account is Camille Nalasco with the double O. Uh, and, yeah. My Facebook is Camille Nalasco. Uh, Twitter. Do you have Twitter? No. Problem. YouTube, wala, where you can you can watch your highlights. On Camille Nalasco po on YouTube. Next, I'll post there for next time. Okay. Sige. Yeah, there's no surprise why Camille is dubbed by me or by many already around her as the future of women's basketball. She had mentioned throughout the interview, it's her confidence, her work ethic, and the value she picked up in sports that has helped her build what she is today. Through hard work and practicing her craft on a daily basis, that's what helps her continue her standout career in the sports world. So once again, this is your sports girl anchor, Nicole Ganglani. Thank you for tuning in today. Catch me live every Saturday from 11 to 12.30 a.m. for more sports action. See you next time. Get your head in the game and join the tribe every Saturday as we hear the stories of athletes, fitness personalities, and enthusiasts from the sports world. Hosted by your resident sports girl anchor, Nicole Galani, bringing you sports action on Sports Watch every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Philippine time. Until next time, only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Walang kasing saya ang Paskong Pinoy. Dumaan man ang problema at pandemya, kayang-kayang lampasan. Basta't nagdadamayan at nagmamahalan. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko dito sa V81 Radio, South Manila. Ito ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino. Basta all hits o oh, Pinoy panalo. Merong kwentong iyakan at tawanan Kahit nasaan ka man ito'y Mapapakinggan Mapapakinggan Oh, 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 o
radio mo. Ito ang radio ko. Para sa inyo ito 